The villages along the Vietnamese Chinese border are a hunting ground for human traffickers. Girls as young as 13, they say, are being tricked or drugged, then spirited across the porous border by boat, motorbike, or car. Young Vietnamese women are valuable commodities in China, where the one-child policy and long-standing preference for sons has heavily skewed the gender ratio. To put it simply, Chinese men are hungry for brides. Hà Thị Vân Khanh, National Project Coordinator for the UN's Anti-Trafficking Organization in Vietnam said, quote, It costs a very huge amount of money for normal Chinese men to marry a Chinese woman, end quote. Traditionally, Chinese men wishing to marry local women are expected to pay for an elaborate banquet and to have purchased a new home to live in after the wedding. Therefore, it is much cheaper to import women from neighboring countries like Vietnam. Some of the luckier girls managed to escape back to Vietnam with help from the authorities, but cracking down on trafficking is no easy matter as the mountainous terrain of northern Vietnam makes it difficult to monitor the border. Yip Vung started the Pacific Lynx Foundation to combat trafficking in Vietnam. She says that Vietnamese brides can sell upwards of $3,000 to the end buyer and that they are often considered more desirable because of cultural similarities to the Chinese. The Pacific Lynx Foundation runs a shelter for trafficking victims in the city of Lao Cai, northern Vietnam. The young women stay for an average of two to three years. They go to school or get vocational training. They do art therapy and they learn to cook and sew and keep a big garden. Surrounded by other women with similar experiences, the shelter helps them get back on their feet and then find jobs to support themselves. Her organization also does community outreach to stop more girls from falling victims into the hands of traffickers. About once a month, a group of trafficking victims visit a market at Bac Ha, a regional hub for buying food, fabric, and livestock. The women would talk about their experiences, take questions, and play games with the crowd. When they ask people to share personal experiences concerning trafficking, more than 20 people come forward, thus making awareness the key to ending human trafficking in Vietnam.